Hello, my name is Jennifer Colvin, and I am presenting on Jane Addams. Jane Addams was born in September of 1860 in Cedarville, Illinois, and she was raised by her father, who took great interest in making sure she had the greatest educational opportunities. She would eventually attend Rockford Female Seminary, and after graduation, spent much time traveling in Europe, where she came across the Tona B. Hall in London. This experience was probably the most influential moment in her professional life, as we will see later on. But in this experience, she learned and saw how giving people the opportunity for success could change society for the better. And before mentioning all of her many accomplishments and contributions to her community and the work she did to shape um, society, it's important to understand that Jane Addams was a well-recognized pragmatist. Um, a pragmatist, as defined by William James, um, is the attitude of looking away from the first things or the principles or categories, um, the supposed necess necessities, um, and looking towards the last things, the fruits, the consequences, and facts. Um, this idea embraces changing the world and its problems from the bottom up rather from the top down. <coughs> Adams also believed in sympathetic knowledge, um, which is that humans can learn about one another in terms that move beyond propositional knowledge or facts, um, but instead that knowledge is gained through openness and disruptive knowledge. Adams also believed that society had much to learn from immigrants and that immigrants had much to gain from society around them, which was not a popular idea in this time period in our country. Um, she believed that education could bring about individual growth and that these enlightened educational individuals um, working together could improve conditions for the world. Uh, and that education was the foundation for a healthy democratic society. Uh, all these beliefs were the, f the building blocks to Jane's work over the course of her lifetime. Adam's greatest contributions to the educational system stems from her founding the Hull House in, in Chicago in 1888. What started off as a few rooms in her personal home um, eventually led to encompass a whole city block in Chicago. Um, this house provided for the basic needs of the impoverished in the area while working towards improving the educational opportunities offered to immigrants and women and children and adolescents in the area. Um, some of the things that the whole house provided were daycare services and kindergarten, um, social events for adolescents. Uh, they sponsored college extension classes, which hosted well-known speakers such as John Dewey and other founder of pragmatism, um, and Adam Spade paid special attention to the educational opportunities provided to the children in this area. Um, she believed that all children should be encouraged to play um, because it was essential to their educational development as it sparked their imagination, and we can see this lived out um, as she, through the whole house they built the first playground in Chicago. And she also fought against um, policies that were in place that prevented this from happening. Um, Adams took to the political front as she fought for improving childhood education through working on legislation that would reduce um, child labor. She had many other responsibilities outside of the Hall House. She worked alongside W.E. Du Bois in head starting the American Civil Liberties Union, fighting for rights for African Americans. She organized the Women's International League for Peace and Freedom. She was involved with the women's right movement with the idea that if women gained the right to vote, that they would then vote to abolish childhood labor. Again, going back to the belief that children should be playing and learning. Uh, she was a delegate on the first National Peace Congress, um, and she had over 500 pu uh, publications where she discussed her work in the Hall House and her educational and personal beliefs. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, she would eventually win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1931 for all of her work. 
um, her actions and philosophy on society perfectly reflect um, William James's definition of a pragmatist and that she looked away from the head of society to change the world and instead provided the education and opportunities necessary to the lower members of the society or the last things in society um, as a means to improving the world. Probably the greatest criticism of Jane Addams' work was that she did not offer religious instruction in the whole house. Um, in true pragmatic form, she did not believe in absolute truths or necessarily that there was a God, but rather that truth was relative and that um, each of us has our own beliefs. And she didn't want to push religion on the people coming into her whole house. While I personally disagree with Adam's understanding of the idea of truths and absolute truth, it is difficult not to agree with her ideas on trying to improve society by offering educational opportunities to even the lowest. Um, we see her influences uh, today in even Head Start programs where we're offering the youngest members of our lower income families the opportunity to to receive education, providing preschool for um, three and four year olds in some areas, even from zero to four year olds before kindergarten. Uh, her work and accomplishments have paved the way, um, paved the foundations necessary in developing our educational system that we use in our society today and her work has had a lasting impact over the last 150 years. Thank you.